A young woman are joining the ranks of tech enthusiasts at an upcoming international robotics competition called the First Global Challenge. More than 35% of the participants are female. Richard Matthew speaks to a pioneering leader. Hello, I'm Jen Wang. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Rosaiso Technologies. So we specialize in the design and manufacturing of rehabilitation robotics, sensing and platform technologies. Since young, I'm a girl who is very into science. Never really worried about the male domination in the industry. I have received a lot of support from my male uh, classmates. So especially for those hands-on subjects, they have been really helping me a lot. I eventually became a, a trained engineer. But uh, all along, I always hoped that you know I could do something related to healthcare. I realized, okay, there are really strong potential in you know in healthcare in designing uh, exoskeleton devices for extremities to help people with disabilities. Are you sure they can catch any of it, right? At the beginning, we were actually doing uh, 3D printing. It's not the way for mass production because the you know the cost is too high and takes too long to produce one product. Uh, so eventually, we we had to work with uh, you know uh, manufacturers, uh, factories uh, from different countries to eventually come up with a mass-produced prototype. Close. How we grow internationally as a young company with very limited resources are uh, always a challenge. Manpower definitely is a challenge. Till today, we still only have less than 10 employees. For us, uh, we, we try our best to keep the company lean and we have uh, recognition from customers, we have revenues. That's how we keep things going. The next thing uh, we want to do is, beside uh, international expansion, is to uh, focus on R&D and innovation for uh, rehabilitation at home. One thing we, we can do is uh, to create portable devices. The other thing we can do is to create a platform technology that can create, uh, you know, kind of a connect point between the technologies, the clinicians, as well as patients. So that's something that actually we are uh, right now working on. Mama, index finger down. 